Hey, good morning all you movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I am kicking it kettlebell style today. So, I'm gonna just use one kettlebell, a 15 pound one. Feel free to sub in some dumbbells if you don't have a kettlebell. This can still be done with that. Um, we're gonna do a 45 second of work with 15 seconds to transition. I will start with you with a little warm up and we'll end with the cool down. Okay, this is gonna be fun. I did post a preview of this over on my Instagram, so be sure to follow me over there and uh, you can see previews of some of the workouts that are coming up. All right, let's do daily. Let's start with our hands on our shoulders. Come and give me a nice little torso turn right here. Just warm up the lower lumbar, glutes, shoulders a little bit. This was a requested workout. Some people love the kettlebell workouts. You know what? I always forget to use it. <laughs> I actually really like it too. Let's bring this across here. Um, it's challenging for the core because it's wobbly compared to a dumbbell, which could be stationary. Uh, so it's, it's good to switch it up. And they're not that expensive. Reach up and over here. So when the stores open back up, make sure you go grab like a 10 or 15 pound kettlebell. All right, feet shoulder width apart. Little Lily just walked in. She will not be here for the workout. Why don't wrap your bum on my mat? That's so embarrassing. Everyone's watching you, honey. Sorry, <laughs> that is the worst thing a dog could do right now. Mercy in the middle, child. All right, two more here. Anyway, okay, I'll leave her here for the warm up. That's it, though. She is cute, I'll give her that, but she is pesty as well as a little puppy. They just get into everything, don't they? Well, to her credit, she was sitting still for the last hour, so it's almost time to go for our walk. All right, let's reach across the body right here. Tap that out. Two more here. And up and over. Nice reach. Just cleaning the floors. Every morning she does a kitchen clean, so that's nice. You don't have to worry about sweeping when you have a dog. All right, let's take it super wide. I want you to touch opposite foot with your hand here. Just warming up your hamstrings, nice and slow. You can touch your knee if that's as far as you can get. What are you doing on there, girl? Hey, what are you doing down there? Three more here. Two last here. Good. Oh, that feels good. Let's just do some shoulder circles. We do have some lifts coming up here, so I want to make sure that ball and socket is warmed up. I want to make sure I don't step on her. She would just destroy this mat if I just let her have her way. Switch directions. <laughs> oh, goodness. Good times. Any of you have a puppy right now <laughs> that you're training during quarantine? Okay, three. Two and one. Let's go back into our squat right here. What are you doing, little one? Squat and reach overhead here. Good. Five more right here. That's the part that she gets to. <laughs> Lily, no! One more right here. All right, let's take it wide. Hands are wide, ready, and low. Open. If you're new to this channel, this is your first video, I promise. I normally don't have a dog right here right now. <laughs> She's going away shortly, don't worry. Last four, three, two, and one. Okay, have your kettlebells or dumbbells handy. Let's get started. I'm starting with a stationary lunge. So you're going to lunge, then you're gonna switch hands as you turn, press toward the ceiling. Come back, okay? I'll call halfway and we'll switch legs. Ready? So, you drop, switch, press, and drop, switch, press. Good, that's good fun. New move for me there. Good. 
Let's stay on the same side for 45 seconds, okay? I feel like I'm just getting the hang of it right now. And that's halfway. nice and concise about my movements here. Tight core when I press. And okay, that was fun. I'm gonna switch sides. So now my left leg's forward, holding it in my right hand to start. <clears throat> okay, nice and tall. Here we go. You lunge, twist, press. Touching that back knee to the ground on my lunge. I like it like that. Ten more seconds here. Really whatever you can shoulder press here, so you might have to drop to a dumbbell. Nice. Okay, single leg deadlift row. You're gonna hinge forward, row, and stand. I will call halfway on this one. Ready? Knee soft, hinge, row, stand. Hinge, row, stand. Hold on to something if you feel tippy. Last one here, and switch sides. Good. All right, you're gonna come here. We're gonna hinge forward, row, and forward jump, back jump. Row, double hand, or single look at a really like kettlebell. Ready? Hinge, row, jump, jump, hinge, row. Jump, jump. Super flat back on the row. Nice. Okay, shake it out. Let's repeat the round. Starting with that lunge. Twist, press. Alright, hold it in my left, right foot forward, lunge, turn, push. Watch your knees. I'm coming up on my toes for the twist part. I don't want to torque my knee. 45 seconds aside here.
Sieht ja auch. Nice. All right, here's your deadlift. If you were too tippy, just anchor that one foot into the ground. And then you'll hit it like that, okay? Don't forget to the row. Ready? Here we go. So, you hinge, row, stand. Same side. Super flat back here. All right, let's set that down. We're gonna do the bent over row. Front and back hop. I'm gonna do a single side row this time. It was a bit light for both hands, so do both or one. Hinge forward at the waist, tight tummy, and row, front and back, row the other side. Up, row. I'm doing a wide row, elbow out to the side, row. On the single leg deadlift row coming up, we're gonna go 45 seconds inside there too. A little bit more challenging the last round. Here we go. And lunge, turn, hop. Arch your back at the top of the press, tummy tight, push. Again, I'm using 15 pound dumbbell, kettlebell, there it is. Okay, single leg deadlift. Holding with my left hand, right leg is soft and stationary. Here we go, hinge, row. Stand. 
Go 45 seconds a side this time. direction of the halo. Fun, right? Here we go. Low, low. Halo, elbows high, and drop. Switch directions, and drop. Good. Get those elbows up. So up by your ears. Biceps should be by your ears. Keep 
that core tight. Don't let your back arch at the bottom. Push through the front heel. Show side view here. Very good. Okay. Squat halo again. Ha. Feel my biceps right here. Front shoulder biceps. Squat halo, alternating. Flip it. And work. Okay, take her down. Whew. That's good. Okay, full sit up, press. Heart rate's up a bit, 145. All right, get ready. Here we go. Up, overhead reach. Again, eliminate the kettlebell if it's too much. Just give me a full sit up. Front lunge, front press. Shake out those arms for a sec. Okay. Ready? And here. Press control. Grabbed it by the bottom of the handle. So good grip. Concentrate on that lunge. Super low. Walking around. Thank you. 
last here. Nice. I, I really like that one too. I like this whole little round. <laughs> Do you? Good. Well, then we're the same. Okay. Hold it up. Here we go. Plunge. Press. Back, back. Don't take too long of a stride on your front lunge. You wanna be able to get back up, okay? It's hard if you do a big stride. Shorten it if you can. For 10 seconds, doing well. All right, water if you need, or keep going for circuit three. All right, I'm moving into a stationary lunge with an overhead tricep. So I'm just gonna hold it with my thumbs under, oh, like this, overhead tricep lunge. So everything is down and press up for the extension. So here and up, I'll call halfway. Elbows are close to your ears, straight up and down. Good, one more this side. And switch, legs, ready, and down. Press. All right, you're gonna go into a deadlift high pull. This is pretty light for me. You could hold two dumbbell or kettlebells if you have. I'm just gonna increase my pace just a little bit. All right, feet shoulder width. Here we go. So you hinge, stand, lift. Good. Elbows are high. All right, good. Take it to the ground. You're gonna do a hollow boat press. So here's your position here. We're gonna do a single side press. You could keep your feet on the ground or knees bent if you can't hold them in the air. Otherwise, let's try, I'll call half. And press, press, good. My opposite hand is out to the side to balance. All right, let's switch sides. That was hard, so I'll give it that. Okay, wow, that's a lot of work. Up for the lunge again. Huh. Might as well save the hardest for last, I suppose. Okay. Reverse grip here. Here we go. And low. Everything is up, everything is down. Okay, 
down for your boat rocker. Oh, arms are fried. It's a good shoulder exercise workout here. Okay, give me that hollow boat and press. Switch sides. Here we go. Sorry guys, <laughs> I'm getting delirious. Let's pop back to that one. Okay, feet shoulder width, work. Low and lift. Halfway through, 20 seconds here. Three, two, good, let's go back to the top. All right, last round. Let's get that overhead tricep, okay? Little reverse grip there, thumbs are under. Nice and tall, I'll call half, here we go. And down, everything is down, everything is up. One more here, and switch. Don't let that back arch, and drop. arms overhead that long gets my heart rate up. Here's two. All right, let's work. And done. Oh, my Atlanta. 
You move daily in your total killer combo, kettlebell or cap, or whatever we're calling it. Good job, thanks for joining me. Join me for a stretch if you can, and or continue with cardio at the end. All right, oh, I'm not even sure how to stretch this out, but let's go into a little child's pose. Push your chest to the ground. I'm just gonna kind of rock side to side and lengthen it through my lats. Maybe extending one hand a little higher than the other. And then stretching the other side. Shoulders really feeling this guy today. Round up through the back. Good, and let's just tuck that hand under here. Oh yeah, that feels good. Good job everyone, that was fun. I definitely uh, switch sides. Do like the kettlebell workouts. It's kind of like a three in one or four in one, isn't it? You get a little cardio because it's heavy and challenging. You usually, you're, you're working compound movements here, multi-muscle, multi-joint. Let's stretch the hamstrings here. Um, I'm just gonna grab the outside and stretch my lat as well at the same time. Yeah, so I, I have heard that before, that the kettlebell swing anyway is like the queen or the king of all exercises in that it hits your cardio, hits your um, glutes, your core, your shoulders, your quads, everything is targeted in that exercise. So it's, uh, it's great. Oh goodness, let's go ahead and do a little quad stretch here. I'm gonna tuck my foot behind, really push my hip forward, lengthening through my quad. Huh. Now, can I be honest with you right now? So, <laughs> you know that last circuit that we just did? Switch sides. I filmed it and then all of a sudden I was doing the stretch component. So I was already in the stretch and my camera shut off because the card is full, the memory card. So I went up to the camera to go erase something to put more room on it and I erased circuit three. Oh my god, almost died. I'm like, you're kidding me. I just erased it and I looked all over the camera to try and find if there was like an undo button. There wasn't. So I just redid that last circuit. I did it twice in a row. <laughs> I'm like, I do not want to do that hollow body. Oh, I don't want to do it. I rested for about five minutes, talked to my daughter for a bit, and then I'm like, I gotta do this. I just gotta. And she's like, oh, it sucks. <laughs> So, if you're inclined to repeat that last circuit, then we can be twins. Um, I feel like I got a good shoulder pump right now because of it, though, I'll give you that. And core, that was hard too. Anyway, <laughs> it happens. Sometimes things erase like that. Life happens, throws us a curveball. You gotta roll with it, don't ya? And you really gotta think, you know, what's my attitude gonna be like in the middle of this? Because I actually went up to the camera and I'm like, I hate this so much. And then I'm like, Tracy, what are you putting out in the world when you say I hate it so much? Because I really didn't want to do it over because it was hard. So then I, I changed my tune right then and there. I'm just like, okay, I love it. I'm so happy I get to exercise. I love this. And then I smiled and then I'm like, okay, let's do it. And then I did it. So <laughs> sometimes you gotta just change your attitude in the middle of a circumstance, don't you? It's all about our own reactivity and how we respond uh, to certain situations. Because another person can be in the exact same situation and their response would be completely different. So it's really the story that you tell yourself. So if you can reframe that story and make it look like something more positive, that's only gonna help you. Um, and now I'm done, hallelujah, <laughs> praise the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Hey, if you want to continue going with that 20 minute cardio hit, click or tap the screen there. And if you want a fun little workout for tomorrow, I would click or tap the screen right there. All right. Thanks for joining. See you guys.